There's a new peptide circulating the wellness community called pentadeca peptide arginate, commonly shortened to PDA or pentadeca arginate complex. Proponents are marketing this peptide as a superior orally bioavailable version of the controversial peptide BPC157, but is PDA genuinely revolutionary or just another episode of marketing insanity? Let's cut through the hype. What exactly is PDA? Pentadeca peptide arginate is promoted as a slight chemical modification or arginate salt version of BPC-157, supposedly enhancing its acid stability and making it suitable for oral use. Essentially, sellers claim PDA is the next generation BPC-157, offering similar healing properties like improved tissue repair and anti-inflammatory effects. But there's a significant catch. No credible, peer-reviewed evidence supports these claims. A thorough search through PubMed Google Scholar and major patent and chemistry databases reveals an alarming fact. There are absolutely no published animal or human studies on PDA itself. All existing studies cited by retailers are exclusively based on the original peptide, BPC-157, not this arginate variant. This lack of research is concerning. Sellers are making bold assertions about PDA's supposed superiority without a shred of independent analytical verification or pharmacokinetic data. Checking clinicaltrials.gov and international registries yields exactly zero entries for PDA. Like BPC-157, PDA has no investigational new drug approval from the FDA, no listing on FDA 503A or 503B bulk drug lists, and absolutely no evaluation of its safety, purity, or efficacy. In other words, any U.S. prescribing or dispensing of PDA currently falls into a regulatory gray area, a situation that mirrors exactly what recently got BPC-157 banned from legitimate compounding pharmacies. Currently, PDA's popularity is driven entirely by wellness blogs, peptide retailers, and promotional materials openly admitting clinical studies remain limited. Terms like FDA compliant are misleading because the FDA has never evaluated or endorsed PDA in any form. Claims like improved angiogenesis, nitric oxide production, and faster wound healing sound promising, yet they remain completely unsubstantiated. There is simply no reliable primary data, safety information, or dose-finding research to back these assertions. Given the total absence of evidence, PDA occupies the lowest tier of scientific credibility below even the controversial BPC-157. Clinicians prescribing or dispensing PDA risk serious scrutiny from the FDA and state medical boards, similar to the issues that recently plagued BPC-157 providers. Here are straightforward talking points you can use when discussing PDA with patients. There are no human trials or safety studies. Any benefits are purely speculative. Products available are outside FDA-approved manufacturing standards, exposing users to unknown risks. If PDA truly offered advantages over BPC-157, animal studies would have emerged by now. As of right now, PDA is effectively a rebranded, untested cousin of BPC, pushed aggressively to exploit the commercial vacuum left after recent FDA crackdowns. Without any peer-reviewed studies, registered clinical trials, or regulatory oversight, PDA remains firmly in the category of gray market peptides driven by anecdotal hype rather than genuine scientific evidence. Until serious, regulated research emerges, the prudent choice is clear. Steer well clear of PDA.